Take a seat, Mr. Hallaby. Thank you, Counselor. What seems to be the problem, Mr. Hallaby? I've been under pressure this semester, especially after taking that molecular course. Oh my God, it was hell. I felt depressed, useless, and idiotic. HMMMMMMM. Counselor, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking what therapy suits you best. What are these different types of therapy? Okay, follow me and I'll show you. There are several types of therapies. Psychodynamic, behavioral, cognitive behavioral, humanistic, holistic, and art. Let's start off with psychodynamic therapy. It is an approach to mental health that aims to help people gain a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them. It has multiple subcategories, which are Freudian ego psychology and object relations. What do these subcategories mean? Well, you see, each type has subcategories and each has its own definition. Freudian theory. Adult personality operates on the reality principle within the conscious realm and the morality principle at all levels of consciousness. Ego psychology. It is defined as the view that a person has of himself. Object relations. It is a theory of human psychology that claims that people are motivated primarily by the desire for contact with others, rather than their own sexual or aggressive urges. Next, let's talk about its different techniques. Counter-transference analysis, interpretation, transference analysis, and technical neutrality, which basically means the therapist would observe the patient and then proceed to analyze and interpret him or her based on that transference, which means to redirect thoughts and emotions onto the therapist. Moving to behavioral therapy, it's clinical psychotherapy that uses techniques derived from behaviorism and or cognitive psychology. The subcategories are Applied Behavioral Analysis, ABA, Dialectical Behavioral Therapy, DBT, and Exposure Therapy, ABA. It uses operant conditioning to shape and modify problematic behaviors. DBT, it utilizes behavioral and cognitive techniques to help people learn to manage their emotions. Exposure Therapy. It employs behavioral approaches to assist people in overcoming their fear of events or items. The techniques used in this type of treatment are based on the theories of classical conditioning and operant conditioning. Aversion therapy. Flooding. Token economies. There is also a type called cognitive behavioral therapy. It teaches individuals how to recognize and modify harmful or disturbing thinking patterns that have a detrimental impact on their behavior and emotions. It is similar to behavioral therapy but it also addresses negative thoughts and emotions. The subcategories are Recognizing and Correcting, DBT, and Rational Emotive, REPT. Cognitive therapy focuses on recognizing and correcting incorrect or distorted thought processes, emotional responses, and behaviors. DBT tackles both ideas and actions while including tactics such as emotional control and mindfulness. REPT entails detecting irrational ideas, aggressively questioning these beliefs, and eventually learning to recognize and modify these thinking patterns. Next, let's talk about its different techniques. Applied relaxation, journaling, cognitive distortion examination, desensitization, set goals, create rewards, and guided discussion. Next up, we have humanistic therapy, which focuses on free will, human potential, and self-discovery. The different types of humanistic therapy are client-centered therapy, Narrative therapy and gestalt therapy, client-centered therapy. It's the therapist's non-directive approach. Individuals participate on an equal footing, and the therapist provides empathy and positive respect. Narrative therapy. People's personal stories and experiences to help them understand their values and talents. Gestalt therapy. Focuses on people's current life and experiences. It lays a strong focus on how an individual sees and interprets their experiences. The techniques are congruence, empathetic understanding, reflective listening, and unconditional positive regard. Furthermore, we have holistic therapy, which addresses the mind, body, and spirit to support health and healing. It is also divided into integrative therapy, mind-body therapy, spiritual therapy, eclectic or integrative therapy, a method of addressing a person's needs that relies on different traditions and methodologies. Mind-body therapy refers to a set of treatments aimed at enhancing physical functioning and producing calm in order to enhance health. Spiritual therapy is a method of exploring difficulties in a person's life that involves belief systems and spiritual faith. The different techniques used are biofeedback, breathwork, 
massage, meditation, and yoga. Finally, we have art therapy, which is a form of psychotherapy involving the encouragement of free self-expression through painting, drawing, or modeling, used as a remedial or diagnostic activity. It also splits into subcategories, dance therapy in which movement is used to develop emotional, social, cognitive, and physical integration. The purposeful use of drama and slash or theatrical techniques to attain therapeutic aims is referred to as drama therapy. And finally, expressive therapy helps patients explore and heal challenging emotional and medical situations by utilizing forms of creative expression, such as art, music, and dance. The techniques used include collage coloring finger, painting photography, doodling and scribbling. To conclude, all these therapies can help to treat a number of psychological conditions. Some of these include anxiety, addiction, bipolar disorders, depression, ADHD stress, trauma PTSD, and panic attacks. And that's all for today. Look who's back after five months. Hello, Mester. Feels so good. No more suffering caused by some yeah, problems. that's what I am talking about. There's, There's hope. hope. Even, Even if, if your, your brain, brain tells, tells you there isn't. You there isn't.